One thing you spoke about earlier, you said like going back to precision medicine is not like a one shot, one shot fits all type of thing. I just want you to reflect and kind of talk about the importance of diversity in this research program. Yeah, no, it's it's a critically important point because you know the whole premise of this is everybody's different. Um, mm -hmm. that, um, the specific combination of genetic and environmental lifestyle factors and so forth that makes you know any individual who they are it's going to be different from one person to another and hence if you're going to begin to try to personalize care you have to understand you know what are the individual factors that influence risk of disease and reaction to treatment well when you then look at this on a population scale what we have learned is that um, the population histories of different groups are different um, in terms of parts of the world they came from and the kinds of environmental stresses that they were subject to historically. And um, that means that in many cases, there were genetic differences that arose in different groups of individuals um, that may be relatively shared within a group, but are different from one group to the next. Um, and that in part reflects just the kind of the ancestral history of, of different groups of people. And um, if you don't take account of those, then you could actually be giving misleading information. Um, for example, there are, there are known instances of genetic traits um, that are more common in, in individuals from one part of the world than from another part of the world. And there are also instances of genetic traits that might be related to disease in one group and not so much in another group. Um, there may be genetic variants that are more prevalent in one group than another and um, may behave differently even in the setting of, of the entire genetic background. So the main point of this is if you look in the last say 20 years in this era of what you might call genomic medicine, mm -hmm. a preponderance of the research has been done on people of European ancestry. Um, and a lot of progress has been made in recognizing um, areas of risk for disease that um, has resulted from that work. However, it's become clear that um, many of the findings that would have been achieved in studies of people of European ancestry don't necessarily um, apply to peoples of other ancestries, um, African or um, parts of Asia, just for example. Um, and in order to be able to identify risk factors in people of um, diverse backgrounds, you need to engage people of diverse backgrounds to participate in the research. Um, so it's not gonna be good enough to just work in people of European ancestry and then assume that what you've figured out there is gonna apply equally well to people of other backgrounds. Um, you need to engage people of diverse backgrounds so that you can learn about the particular risk factors that may be more relevant to them than um, to other groups. And that's why it's so important for the All of Us Research Program to um, be enrolling individuals who have historically been underrepresented in biomedical research, because now is the opportunity um, to learn about the individual um, risks that um, people of all backgrounds face and to be able to um, apply the correct information that's most relevant to them. But the only way we're gonna know that is by engaging them in participating in these kinds of studies. Yeah, and I'll- Do you know what's happening in Birmingham? Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbham.com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today, your source for everything Birmingham.